Gary, get off your phone. I'm texting my mom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, ho, neighbor. This whiskey happens. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Johnson, what do we got going on tonight? Uh, nothing, Mr. Martin. Just a little Penelope toasted rye. Mm. Uh, I've never had any Penelope rye, even the finished rye. But tonight we're going to give it a try. We're going to give a rye a try? Give a rye a try. Uh, yeah, we're going to be evaluating this. First neat, and then on the rocks, and then a Coke. Uh, what's the proof on this? Oh, this one is coming in at 100 proof. This is char one, and it is toast heavy. Um, so <laughs> I love it. It's toasted. It's barrel finished. It is just going to be, I think, a friggin' delight. Um, so uh, five years aged, um, and so I'm excited to get into this one. Uh, new release from Penelope it's this like year. Grass to me. Do you know how much I love a rye? It's funny, I don't get grass, but I get, hmm. I mean, what you might use, what I take for grass could just be rye, but. No, but I smell, I smell a little bit of um, like nectar, nectarine, um, a little sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. Like it's like a, um, it's like one of those fruits that's not like super sweet when you eat it, but it's, it's got like a little bit of sweetness to it. So I, I, I first go to nectarine, but All right. let's get into this and let's try it. Wow. That's a rye. That is a rye. That is a rye. And I'm surprised by it because Penelope's ryes normally aren't like typical rye. And this is more of a typical rye. Um, and it, it's got to be something to do with the toasted and the that piece about it, giving it kind of that more rye finish. But you can definitely taste the toasted notes in it where it's not like... A heavy, heavy rye. It's not heavy. It's only mellow. It's a, it's got light baking spice, um, a surprising creme brulee note, as well. Um, more of a, a bright apple. Yeah, I'm getting like a honeysuckle bright apple. Um, real, real, real light. Like you know, it's a rye because of the way it finishes. But when you first taste it, you don't get super rye. You get kind of a mellow, like. I think if you didn't note. smell it and yeah. then someone just served it to you, you would just think it's regular whiskey. Yeah. I, I think, and you know, maybe that's not good for a rye drinker. I, I, that's no, the beauty of Penelope, though. Yeah. I think I'm on the fence about it as of right now. It's not knocking me out of the park. But it's not bad either. No. Let's, All right. Let's put yeah. it on some ice. Oh, you saved a little. You're smart. Well, just in case I want to go back to it. Yeah, that was smart. I didn't do that. Oh. No, I'm All, right, so. <laughs> All right. So. All right. So on on a cube. I don't know if I had enough time to sit there yet. The sure. flavor doesn't change that much. I would say more of a, a, a butterscotch note is coming out. Yeah. But you're right, it's not exactly a depth of, uh, of difference yet. There he goes. Okay. Okay. Now see, that That tastes fun. That is doing a little dance in my mouth. Uh, cotton candy. The more the apple note comes out, so much more. You hit it right on the fucking head. I was trying to think of the. I was trying to think of the word. I was sitting there going, "What does that taste like?" And it tastes like going to a fair. Yeah. Like, you know that smell that it's in the air at a fair. Like you mm -hmm. can kind of, and just those scents. That's exactly what I got when I tasted it the second time. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say wow we, but yeah, it, it it is definitely a world of difference here. It is. Um, it definitely doesn't dissipate. At 100 proof, I thought putting it on a rock, putting it in ice, uh, it would completely dissipate. But it doesn't. It holds up. I'm, I'm very impressed um, for something that's 100 proof to kind of hold its own. 
um, and bring out some flavor. So here goes a Coke. Just a splash, just, just a splashy splash. Just a splash. Just a splashy splash. Uh, we love our technical stirring with our fingers, which is always awesome. Now see, if you were to throw a cherry and an orange peel in that, I'm gonna think that's an old fashioned, 100%. Yeah. I was gonna say it almost, it almost tastes more like a Diet Coke <laughs> once I put that in there. Yeah. There, there, there's something here to where it's like, this rye is cocktail ready. Yes, it is. Yeah, that is... Um, you wouldn't hmm. even need the bitters. But I think the bitters would make it amazing. Yeah, true. Oh, is this going to happen? So, while he does that, I think that like it naturally lends itself to citrus and uh, the Coke... Which, I don't know the flavors of Coke, but I think the Coke really opens it up to where it's a nice pour. Yeah, so That's you're not going to tell me that wasn't... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old-fashioned. That's an old-fashioned. <laughs> oh, my God. That is an old-fashioned. Yeah. Like, I've never, I've never experienced that. That's the weirdest thing. If you guys have not... If you guys have this bottle, put a little bit of... Put it on the cube. Put a little bit of... Uh, Coke in it and just a dash or two of bitters it's an old fashioned like it is I guarantee you if you put that up against a normal old fashioned you wouldn't be able to tell which one was which you wouldn't know that there was Coke in that let me put it that way yeah I'll say that and I'll, I will give the asterisk of we can only find Mexican Coke today so maybe a traditional US Coke does not give the same effect could but be I, I've never experienced anything like this mm -mm. with Coke um it's exciting. I, I really thought that I was like, oh, this Penelope is not going to be for me. Yep. But all right. So what, what do you think? You're going neat rocks, Coke. Um, I'm going to go actually Coke. And the only reason I say that is it's not that the other ways are any worse, but I'm more surprised at the way this is handling the Coke. And if I have someone that comes over and really wants, you know, to put Coke in their, their bourbon, I'm giving them this all day long because they will love that. I am actually going to go neat. Uh, not oh. that I think that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. On the rocks. I'm going to go on the rocks. Oh, yeah. um, now that I think Coke is bad, I think the Coke situation would be great if you were like short and need to make cocktails. Yeah. And it would work perfectly. Mm -hmm. But as far as like, I'm not a cocktail drinker. Um, so would I actually do it once this camera turns off? Maybe not just because I don't really make cocktails at home. However, it is a nice remedy if someone comes over that only drinks cocktails. 100%. Yep. Otherwise, I'm going on the rocks. Love it. Love it. I'm telling you right now, though, I will be making um, an old-fashioned the right way with this to see the difference now. Because it has blown my mind slightly. So. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Just remember, right. it doesn't matter if you like it neat on the rocks or in a Coke. Whiskey so, happens. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Bye.